short stream today. Uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what that noise was. Short stream today because I'm still trialing this day out. Um, still kind of deciding. Sorry, I was just watching someone's. <laughs> I was just watching, uh, a, looking at the review of uh, Last of Us Two, but um, I'm still trialing this day. I'm still trialing Wednesdays out. I still don't really know. I still don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. But like I said, I mentioned it a couple times that I kind of want this day to be like whatever Wednesday. It's like whatever I feel like playing. Like I'm not, I'm not connecting it to anything. I'm just kind of doing me, you know. So. That off. Let me share this, and then we can get started. Cool. Alright. Okay. So, you know, I just felt like going online and playing Mario Tennis Aces. Because actually, it's been a while. I don't think I've played... I don't think I've played online in like a good four weeks because I've been playing so much. I was about to say brawl. I've been playing so much uh, Smash U. But let's see who's online. I might not get that many. Uh, there might not be too many competitors. It's Wednesday on the afternoon, the evening really. It's Wednesday at seven o'clock my time. So let's see who's on. If no one's on, it is what it is. If it's a bus, it's a bus. That's the beauty of this day. Like that to me, this will be like the relaxing day. I don't have anything in my head except what game do I feel like playing and streaming. So light. Also really kind of dig how the light is giving me the anime glasses look. I kinda appreciate that. Like right there, right there. Oh you saw it, you saw it. Okay, here. God, I really should have like warmed up. <laughs> I've been playing this uh, this one tennis game, uh, Tennis World Tour, and that's like more simulator, and so I probably should have like really warmed up, because this is more arcadey, and I'm kind of, yeah, oh well. That's alright, I'll let the, the first couple matches will be like my warm up, if I just kind of get a feel for it again. Kind of like regular tennis, you can't really come out the gate swinging, you gotta, you gotta warm up. Fun fact. For tennis fans, actually, for, I guess for fan, fun fact for people who are not tennis fans, uh, tennis is the only sport where you warm up with your opponent. Thought that was, thought that was interesting. I'm getting smacked. Change card. But that's to be expected. I'm gonna get a feel for it in this game and just really kind of get around the ball and get my timing together. And. This way, that can help. It's not gonna help. <laughs> oh, no. Told you, gonna feel for it. Take a little bit of risk, some calculated risk. No. That sounds cool. Ah, so freaking tall. So freaking tall. I didn't throw this one away, but I'm starting to feel it. Like I said, here now is the warm up. Now I'm getting my timing a little bit. Actually, all right, we got dudes. Hold up, <laughs> hold up. What's up, Jack? Welcome. Welcome to whatever Wednesdays. As I figure out what I want to do with <laughs> with Wednesday, <laughs> it's whatever. I love it. Yeah, there's no theme. There's no time. There's no duration. There's nothing. Just whatever. Oh my god, my hand actually slipped off the controller. That sounds like a very convenient excuse, but 
Whatever. As long as it doesn't knock me out of my A's. Okay. Oh, oh, he had a good ranking then. Oh, was he just a good player? Was I really not just playing bad? So, if you don't lose points after a loss, that means that your opponent was a considerably higher rank than you. So he might have been on the higher end of like the A bracket. And that's probably why. So maybe it was just good. I don't know. So as I was pulling up the stream jack, I was reading your review. So thank you. Like I said, I was feeling like almost like down. I was feeling like almost defeated because of like all the drama. And now they're saying like there's a petition out to change the story. And I'm like, this is almost like killing like the buzz for the game. It's a bit of a buzz kill, but I was talking to you, I was talking to my boy Howard, and like, I'm just, I'm reading actual reviews and everyone is like going so hard about like how good the story is. And I'm just like, where is the disconnect? That's such a, like a weird thing. Um, so I saw your review and that, that definitely got me excited to play again. Unfortunately, I can't play tonight. It just, this week is getting away from me real quick. Uh, I think tomorrow I'll be able to put in some time. Yesterday we tried to, but we just didn't get the chance. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I could put some time in. And then on Friday we do our engagement photos, which I think is going to be an all-day thing. But if we're done a little early, then yeah. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. That's valid. Chris, you play tennis? Stop playing. Dude, tennis is my sport. Like, literally, like, so I played all throughout college. I played all throughout high school. After college ended, I did teach as a club professional for about a year. And once I moved to Texas, I opened up a tennis teaching business under my name, uh, which, unfortunately, I had to kind of pause due to COVID. But, man, I love this sport. It's like... Literally my obsession. <laughs> Along with this game. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, you should have just waited. Hell yeah, dude. So I was I was varsity I think three. I remember I, my freshman year I didn't, but definitely my last three years of uh of high school I was first uh, on varsity. And then College, college was different. College was like, because we in, in college you change, you would kind of change the lineup for your opponent, uh, and we were a very deep team. So like, once you came out for like the, the our top, everyone else was pretty much at the same level for the most part. Um, uh, maybe I'll say one and two. After that, everyone for the most part was same level. Oh. Um, so we would change and sort of entertain and all that good stuff, but. Yeah, I like, I play, I play religiously, I like, <laughs> I watch it religiously, of course, right now I can't. And of course, my favorite player, my favorite player just got diagnosed with COVID, and I don't know how to feel. It doesn't sound like uh, Djokovic has symptoms, though, so it sounds like he's asymptomatic, but, ooh, I'm, I'm like, uh, I, ugh. if something happens to Djokovic, I'm going to be quite upset, I'm not going to lie. All right, I got my groove back. Let's get in this. <laughs> I told you I just needed one game to warm up. Just need a little warm up. A little, little, little. Also, shout out to the to the Black Panther Cup. I swear I'm five years old because like all my cups and <laughs> my cups and utensils all have like superheroes. <laughs> That's the that's the beauty of being an adult. You just stop giving a shit. <laughs> like, you know what? I pay a mortgage. I don't care. I'm gonna definitely have all Black Panther cheats. <laughs> like try to tell me something. Try to try to tell me I can't. You don't pay this mortgage. <clears throat> See, I would love to play. Chris, are you you're out there in Jersey though, right? Um hmm. Um Favorite shot in tennis. <laughs> Love it, Jack. Favorite shot in tennis. I, it's probably like 
like high top spin cross court forehand. Uh, that's probably my favorite shot. I just think that has like crazy range and such, and it can set up so many other shots so easily. I think my favorite is like my favorite scenario is when you have a, a high heavy top spin cross court forehand. You would push your opponent sort of off the court, and then you hit, hit it inside out and kind of finish it with another cross court. I just love that. Like when I see that, like when the pros do it and they kill it, I'm just like. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Change court. Change court. That was actually a decent serve. No, oh, you got that. Okay. You got that. Fifteen off. Fifteen off. Yeah, I have not been playing this game. I've been playing a lot of. Uh, I've been playing a lot more Brawl. I keep saying Brawl. Smash Brothers. <laughs> um, but it's whatever Wednesday, which means I can play Mario Tennis. Dude, easy. It's, like, to me, there's so many moves in tennis, to me, that kind of remind me of boxing. Like, like the one-two punch, like the one-two knockouts. And that's definitely one of them. Um... Also, I have like I give credit to any player who has a really solid backhand down the line. I just I just think it's a really clean shot. Requires a lot of shoulder rotation, so you don't really see it being used that effectively. Um, like off the top of my head, I know like Helena Yankovic had a really good backhand down the line, and that thing was beauty. Um, but that that maybe that's up there. And I just think like a, a good serve, like a, a really solid serve to me is like something to watch. I, like I like certain serve motions too. Like I completely copy Nick Kyrgios' serve motion, like completely. <laughs> um, I love Federer's serve motion, so clean. That's the toughest part, man. It's always the toughest part. Give yourself space. Everyone's space is a little bit different. I always tell my students, um, just recognize your range. But if you want, but if you want the full power into the shot, then you you're going to have to use. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to get your full range, right? Because you want the full racket, you want the full rotation, like like the full natural coil. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's just not going to be an effective shot. So at least give yourself enough space that you can do that. And, and unfortunately, it's kind of hard. You can't really keep space because everyone's body is a little bit different. But at least understanding why space is important is kind of like what I talk, what I teach my kids. Oh, you... <laughs> Dang, I should not. There was no reason I won that point. I saw, so back when I was an intern, um, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Similar to real tennis, I cannot like, do multiple things at once. <laughs> I need like 100% focus. Let me try to get out of this game. Oh! Oh! Okay. Got him. <laughs> Got enough. <laughs> Come with that short angle. Get it under the seat. Oh my god. I... I hate Speedy Piranha. Like, in every game. 
I just don't like this character. <laughs> don't like this guy. Next. How dare you, Mex? Now he's pretty good, though. I actually like him. This is a good opponent. I think this is the same Peter Brown I lost in the beginning. He's, he's pretty solid. He's solid. Yeah, Wozniak has a really good backhand. So, back when I was an intern um, over at Lexus, one of the dealerships sponsors the like New Haven, Connecticut Open. Um, so, as like a gift, kind of like a going away gift, they got me tickets. So, I just had to drive all the way up there to Connecticut. I It was technically at Yale. Um, so, it was played on Yale's tennis ground. And... I got to see Wozniaki in person. I also right, right. also was able to see uh, John Macro in person, and that was fun. And then that same night, I pretty much hung out at Yale and I turned up with a, <laughs> with a friend. So that was that was really fun. Oi. <laughs> This guy decimated me in this second game. I'm just gonna let him take it. Yeah. He did that. 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 But he's not, like, they're not unbeatable, though. John Isner um, has a very good non-exaggerated serve like to i i put john isner serve up there with serena williams where the serve is like pretty textbook it's not like they're not forcing any additional motions it's not like they're not exaggerating with the wrist it's like very straightforward um which is why they both can do serious damage with their serves now john isner gets the benefit of being six foot ten of course, but... Oh, I hate this stage. Because I literally... I, like, maybe I'm getting older, but I, I literally can't, like, see. <laughs> like, like, the grass and stuff all just kind of blends in. I'm like, I, I can't see. I don't even know how I got over her head. That's good. Kyrgios is like literally he easily jumped into my top three favorite players. He's fun to watch. Like no one works a crowd like he does. Like he literally goes into the crowd, asks them what serve he should do, and does it. And then if he, <laughs> he does it, then he gives them a high five. Like no one works a crowd like Kyrgios. I just I just wish he loved the sport as much as we love to watch him play. You know, um, but at the end of the day, I can't fault him. It's just like natural talent. It's not, so I get it. It doesn't really have a love for it because it just kind of came easy. Uh, oh my gosh. That's what I get for diving. But Kyrgios is fun to watch. And I, I really hope like Kyrgios and Nadal kind of really built that rivalry because their matches are just straight up fun. And filled with drama. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did the strategy right and then I spaz. Oh! If that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I can't see. Like I literally can't see on this thing. Oh, I love Osaka. Osaka. Osaka is the I call her Baby Serena. Ah! Wait! Oh wait! That works! <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> Ooh! 
some digging to that rally. <laughs> I'm not giving up. Yeah, get him off the court. No way. Okay. <laughs> that rally was crazy. Little by little, I just have to change my strategy a bit. Slow climb. Come on. winning that point. Let's go! <laughs> oh man, so I, that interview was hilarious actually. Um, he was like, <laughs> he was like, you know what I like about that interview? Because one thing is people cut off a lot of what he said. Uh, one thing he definitely said, was, he was like, Djokovic is one of the best to do it. He's like, I, he was like, he gave us, he's like, I'm I, pretty much, I'm never going to get to that point, which he honestly can if he, if he put in the time, uh, but I love, and he was like, he was like, he was like, I don't diet like you, like, I, I play FIFA to 3 a.m., like, I don't, <laughs> and I meet you twice. <laughs> I mean, it's like, Djokovic is my favorite player, but I was like, he's not wrong, like, um, I think the difference is, like, Kyrgios, is that why he can beat him? The, like he can beat him, but Kyrgios can't sustain that level throughout a whole tournament, right? And I think that's kind of like the difference. What Djokovic is doing is extreme dieting. He does like has an extreme training regimen, all that stuff. He can sustain a high level for two weeks of a Grand Slam, and Kyrgios, he, like he's gonna run out of steam because he's drinking at. He talks about how he drinks at the pubs and like. <laughs> he's like he, but but also I like it because like you can tell he's just having fun and I think that's what we're losing like when I go back although it's not my era when we go back to like the 80s and 70s they just talk about how much fun like tennis players were rock stars like like he was just saying how much fun they would have um like a lot of fun like there's a lot of cocaine and a lot of models <laughs> is what I've been what I found out yeah he um I watch, I watch, uh, what do I follow? I follow, uh, it's like ATP Pro or something like that. I think I left my phone in the, yeah, I left my phone. But the ATP Pro, and that has, like, a lot of his highlight reels. And I've seen, like, I think I watched his, like, the Curios Federer 2017 match in Miami. Oh, thank you. I think I've watched that highlight reel, like, at least <laughs> ten times. I did. That fish tank is like, there's like three fish in there. Hi, children. Well, I said today it was going to be a short stream. Um, still, uh, huh? No, they're like a uh, type of barb. They're called cherry barbs. Yeah, those are two, uh, they're called endlers, so they're called, uh, tuxedo endlers, and then there's two cherry barbs, 
And then the clear fish is actually turquoise. He's just struck. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really good match. His, um... There was another... His... I love watching his highlights from the, the world... Uh, what do you call it? Not Fed Cup. Oh my gosh. The one tournament where it's like Worlds versus Europe. World versus Europe, I think. Uh, but I'm, I'm blanking on what the tournament name is. And I love watching the highlights from that too. Oh, and the... Um, gosh, there was a tournament that they did... Out of her food. There was a tournament that they did uh, the first... Like in January. For the for Labor Cup. Yep. Thanks, Chris. Uh, there was a tournament they did in January for the first time, and that was country versus country, and that was really good. And Australia went so far, and it was so cool to see uh, him and uh, uh, Minotaur. I'm gonna butcher his name, Min Minotaur. Min and they have like such a like a bromance, and they were like, <laughs> it was funny watching them like back and forth that whole tournament. So I, I hope they do that again in January, because of COVID. Who knows? But. But yeah, like I said, today's stream is going to be short. I'm still figuring out Wednesday. I'm like, do I want it to be an hour and a half? Like my usual time? Well, do I, you know, do I want any structure? That's why I like, I like, uh, <laughs> I said Minotaur. That's definitely like a, it's definitely like a Greek creature. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's the Minar. Thanks. <laughs> See ya, Chris. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I think we're gonna end. We're gonna end the stream short anyway, and as I figure out Wednesday, so it's whatever Wednesday. It's whatever I feel. Maybe it'll be an hour. Maybe it'll be an hour and a half. Maybe it'll be thirty minutes. Any game I feel like it's whatever Wednesday. So don't expect Wednesday to have this has a have a, like a actual structure, um, unlike Monday, Thursday, Saturday. <laughs> I'm like forgetting my stream days. So this will be the last match. <laughs> Playing. Talking reckless. Oh, that was so smart. <laughs> that was actually really smart. I had so much time to set up the lob. I saw him coming in. I had so much time to do that. This guy's actually really good. And I'm low key thinking about adding them. Got him. <laughs> I was hoping the slice would go this direction. And shockingly, that word. Oh my goodness, my spacing sucks. Change card. Oh, every time. Every time I think I'm a little bit close to the ball. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Throw it is one away. Throw it away, coach. That's like a work of miracle right here. Look, you know what? You know what? Send this is one point at a time. Let's see if I can work a miracle. Let's see what I can do. No. <laughs> I tried to make the comeback for y'all, but I couldn't do it. Um, that's okay, though. That's about it. Uh, that's fun. Streaming on Wednesdays is weird. I will admit that, but... 
so was streaming at first in general <laughs> so um but yeah i like wednesdays i do like wednesdays um so we're gonna see what we're gonna do on wednesday we're gonna see what we can do and there just won't be a structure to it it literally be whatever i might come in here for five minutes and be like hi then bounce or i might marathon something who knows who knows wednesdays are open so that's about it uh tomorrow we go back to uh regular programming we finished pokemon snap though i realized so i really need to figure out what we're what we're gonna do on thursday for our throwback thursday i gotta look into that i'm not sure because snap was fun I gotta, I gotta see what we can what else we can do as a group but that's about it i'm signing off peace